Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today I wanted to show you Ellie's hair before she destroys it. <laughs> you finally have a normal ponytail in. She finally has a normal ponytail. I mean, it's still short, but for now, all the hair is stuck in there. Like, usually the little pieces come out here. But for now, they're in there, and it's nice. What she does is roll her face on the ground and try and get all the hair. And out. Daisy's like, it's my turn. <laughs> and Daisy's like, let me in. So basically, in the morning when I brush her, I put her on the couch here with us, with me. And, and Daisy's like, yes, my turn. <laughs> let me show you. This is Daisy. <laughs> oh, so I love you. So I like do all my trimming on the couch. I do all my brushing her on the couch. I do, I try and do like little bits regularly so she gets used to being trimmed because as it is right now, it would be embarrassing to take her to the, to the groomer. Plus I'm trying to grow out parts of her hair so that she has longer spots that I can do more with. So I lay her on the couch right here and I use treats and we go through the whole process. And today she was really good. She was just laying here looking cute. See, I trimmed up her arms a little bit. My wrist hurts. I know, she's getting so heavy. But anyways, so all the other dogs are watching her get groomed and she's laying on the couch right here. <laughs> and then as soon as she leaves, as soon as she vacates, I get the next contestant that's like, trim me, groom me. Her hair's already <laughs> I want out. treats. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're just the cutest baby. Until I take her down to the barn in five minutes and then I have to give her a bath when we get back. I just love her. Can we swap dogs? So tell them what happened. What? Can we swap dogs? Why do you want to swap dogs? That's my dog and this is your dog. I know. Well, we have sort of swapped dogs because she's on me. But but you don't love Daisy anymore? I said, can we swap dogs? Because I want my dog. Oh, you want to give me my dog and you want to take mm -hmm. your dog. Oh, okay. You don't want to swap, swap. Oh, I get it now. We, we have already swapped. I want my <laughs> dog back. But that's what's the beauty of us. We're a family and we all share our dogs. So tell them what happened to you, you when you took Ellie out to check for eggs oh, today. She goes straight down to the barn. So she went to the eggs. Did she go in the chicken coop with yeah. you? Yeah. So she goes in the chicken coop because that's her favorite place on earth. And then when she came out, I wasn't there. So she ran down to the barn. Yeah. So she's not as good when other people take her as I when I'm with her. I went her and she's like, uh-oh. <laughs> she's like, better go inside. Yeah. But she's still wonderful. And adorable and cute. I, I want to like, I have some little tiny um, clippers and I want to get rid of She's these like, little no. tiny pieces of hair that are so close to her eye. As it is, I'm letting them grow long so that they don't poke in her eyes. But I think it might be more beneficial to trim these little tiny pieces. But I don't know. We're going to see. We're just playing it day by day. Right, Ellie Bear? Here. Wait, take your dog. Okay. We swapped. We swapped dogs. <laughs> She got that one. I got this one, and I hate to say it, but this dog never leaves my side. Ever. Never leaves my side. Sam, I'm giving you back your dog. I can barely control one dog. No, Daisy spends most of her time. Where? By her own free will in her cage. I know. She goes into her crate. It's her den. She takes toys in there. She doesn't like to share with the other dogs. She doesn't like to... She's an introvert. She is a total introvert, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Um, she likes to play with the dogs, but she likes to play with the dogs on her ter terms. She comes out when she wants. She goes in when she wants. Like just now, she just came and climbed up on the couch and snuggled with us. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> She's like, this is boring. I'm dying of boredom. <laughs> and where's the second place that she spends the majority of her time? The couch. Yeah. She's either in the couch, on the couch, or in her crate, which is so bizarre because... Dalmatians are supposed to be amazing farm dogs and have a lot of energy. Do you find she has a lot of energy? Yeah. She has a lot of interest in like doing stuff like she and stealing stuff from my room. She finds her own toys, her own things that she wants to do. She's definitely introvert an introvert. Definitely having a disability makes you different, makes them different than their breed. They they she obviously like not being able to hear definitely has an effect on her. Anyway, we're just getting ready. <laughs> Boring! Help! She's terrorizing us with boredom! <laughs> anyway, so we're just getting ready for the day. Uh, so Gabby's still finishing school. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. Gabby already went driving this morning. She's been driving twice now since yesterday when she got her license. I'm going to show you that footage of her uh, first experience with a police car. So go ahead and watch that now and then we'll catch up with you when we're ready to go down to the barn. Uh I've been driving 
the truck. We're going to get hay. I didn't get pulled over by the police. That was I passed the police. <laughs> okay, I passed police car and we didn't get pulled over. That's good. Up here, right? Yeah, up by that green sign. new boots you guys I caved I got new boots if you guys know me I researched the heck out of these boots before I bought them and I'm obsessed so I bought winter boots for me a few years ago like three years ago my boots are three years old and they're just starting to like fray and not be perfect anymore and so I was wanting to get another pair and I've been researching and researching and researching and I've been eyeing these boots called grubs on but they're like american they're sold in america and they're sold in the uk and i haven't been able to get them here so they've been on the back burner i've been wanting them and then recently they're starting to like be available in canada and i was like oh, i'm getting them so basically what i love about them what i personally love about them is they're super lightweight but i like the look of them i like that they're all black and they're kind of like they're kind of dressy for barn boots. And not that they're dressy, but they're black and they look nice and I can kind of wear them like to the other barn and I don't look so barn-like. They are so much lighter than my other boots and that's why I wanted them. These boots are made from the similar material that I've been bragging about, about Gabby and Sophie and Sam's boots. They're made from the same kind of material, but they're the kind of style that I like. And what really stole me on these boots is that they have an equestrian one. So they have one with a heel that looks like a tall riding boot. It's just a regular mud boot, basically. Super versatile, you can work in the barn, you can ride your horse after, and that's the kind of boot that I wanted, and I almost got those ones. Ugh. I think I am gonna end up getting those ones. These are called grubs, but I call them super boots, because they're super waterproof, they're super warm, they're super comfortable, and they have a really good grip for all different surfaces, which is why they make such a good barn boot. I literally am obsessed with them. I haven't even got them dirty yet. This is my first time wearing them. I'm super excited about it. But see how they kind of look a little bit dressy, even though they're a barn boot? You're interrupting my video. They pretty much have every kind of boot. They even have a rain boot. But go ahead and check them out if you're interested or if you're in the market for new boots. I'm like obsessed because my boots are so heavy. These are so light. Like if I go falling on my face today, it's because I'm used to lifting up a 20 pound boot. Anyway, if you are interested or you're in the market for new boots, they're at rainboots.ca. Rainboots.ca. But like I said, they have equestrian boots, which is why I really love them and probably what I'm gonna end up getting for my girls next season because so versatile they look like a tall uh, tall riding boot really nice tall riding boot and then they have the heel but they're really a barn boot so versatile love them what's the plan Stan Sam what's the plan Sam is to go into hibernation. yeah he's like I married a woman who never wants to rest and he's a rester I'm a, I'm a worker he's a rester yeah. and I can't do all the things I want to do so I need him to help me and so it causes <laughs> <laughs> to help me. Plan is to... Just wait, Gabby, did you drive to get the... the did you park? Yes. yes it's, it's confusing. It's, it's scary. not scary. It was a back road. Car coming. Car coming. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Gabby, who I did you... the one who told me to drive on the entire road, and I'm like, but there's a car. And he's like, well, it's stopped. <laughs> So, Gabby said, I want Dad to teach me to drive. I want Dad to teach me. He's the only one teaching me. How are you loving it, Sam? Are you scared? I know she's a good driver. Oh, no, she's a good driver. I I All that it. extra practice that you did. 
Yeah, like we let her drive our trucks around the property, like down to the barn, our cars and stuff. We've been letting her with us so that she can practice the last year or so. So she kind of has an idea. She's not like just some person going out there with no experience, but she's been driving. That's three times in 24 hours, sister. Thanks for getting me chicken food. In the car. All right, so what are we doing today? Try and open up the back field a little bit more. Yeah, so we have a plan. We came to a conclusion. We got it all figured out. I'm gonna share it with you guys. And the reason we're doing it is because we got Sophia a horse. We think we got Sophia a horse. The secret's out. We think we got Sophia a horse. A Western horse that she's gonna be able to ride. Western in lessons. And we're super excited. So we're trying to like, so soon all the horses will be out in the big field and it won't be an issue. And uh, but we want a little bit more space here in the winter field, so that's what we're working on today. What are you working on? Getting her used to having a saddle and then um, lunging her. You've lunged this horse a million times with yeah, a saddle on her. Saddle. You've messed her up flapping around. So she's used to Oh my that. goodness. Did you brush her? Because she face. be dirty. I'm gonna give it to Brooklyn for her show. I'm gonna let her put like her helmet in there. Um, I think she can fit her half chaps in there. And then I think she can put like her bows. I have bows for her she can put in here. I think she could fill this with a lot of stuff that she needs for the show. All right, so I cleaned off the couches. There are no more stuff in the couches. Blankets are hung up. This section looks a little bit better, like not a lot better, but I'm getting there. I still have a lot of work to do over by the feeding section. I hate how messy this is, hate it. So for Sophie's new horse, we can use this saddle pad. I hate that it's getting dusty. It's brand new. I love it. It's the one that has wither release, wither relief. I love this brand. Love this, like there's so many brands that I love. I think we should turn these saddles around so that just the back is sticking out. What do you guys think? That would make it look neater. Okay, so I need to figure out a saddle for Sophie's horse and that will be in a coming video. Are you done lunging already? Well, no. I'm just getting reins because remember when I used to like stand beside her and like make her frame and stuff and she got muscles from that? I'm gonna do that with the saddle. I'm gonna brush my horse because she rolled again. Ellie! Come on Ellie, good girl! Man, I love this dog. <laughs> And the troublemaker showed up. Okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> My dog is a troublemaker. She's so annoying. Is that my crop you're using? No, it's mine. Is, are you sure? I'm all pink stuff. <laughs> She's all pink stuff. Pretty sure it's mine. What are you eating? Oh, I think they're still eating. Leftover hoof. Anyway, a lot of hair off Penny today. I did put on her blanket again. She was such a good girl. She's all groomed up. I'm gonna take her, give her lunch. All right, so Penny's having lunch and I'm gonna go check on Gabby and Sam and I don't see them. <laughs> they disappeared. They're supposed to be out here building a new field. <laughs> all right, I hear something. Ah. There they go. I do not know what they're doing, but hopefully we'll see something by the end of today. Come on, Ellie! 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 Come on! Come on! Jump over the puddles. So we always use a probiotic after we deworm. Actually, I'm gonna leave this out to remind Sam because he doesn't have the best memory. I still wanna clean off this table. It's just that I don't have time yet because I'm still trying to cut our fields summer clean. Uh, we also have this prebiotic probiotic paste. I am loving these boots. They're so light. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. So you guys know that Willow is, has been working really hard on line driving. And so Sophie's moved on to the next thing. She wants her to like pull something behind her, something that makes like a lot of noise, something that feels awkward to her. And she tried to do this a couple years ago, but she got spooked. She was only 11 and she got a little bit spooked. Not Willow, <laughs> but Sophie. She got was nervous to do it. So now she's like at the point now where she's ready to get her to drag something. 
Sure. I feel like confidence can be such a big age thing too. Like once you get to a certain age, you're just naturally more confident. She's so good now. She's, she's so good now? Yeah, positive reinforcement training for the win, you guys. Okay, okay. a lot more work with it but how how amazing you can see she's trying to shy away from it also it is pouring rain <laughs> so I don't think our new field is gonna get done Sam and Gabby are out there in the rain with the tractor with some tools and some wood and I don't even know what they're doing but they're talking about digging holes so they're building a new field I don't know exactly like if they're attaching it to the old field or if they're just building a new field so that we can put different horses in it and I don't know we're gonna see it's gonna be why a mystery give up on this so much when what why did I give up on this a long time ago because you were only 11 and you guys know remember when Sophie was like a little tiny girl like eight nine and ten and she was riding Finn and she loved him and was like nailing it, eating her fear and riding her pony and doing so well, learning all the way. I have a friend that used to like watch us back then and she used to say like, oh my gosh, Sophie's pulling too much. She's doing this, she's doing this wrong. She's doing that wrong. And then, then recently she went back and watched the video when she was like nine years old and said, I didn't realize Sophie was only nine years old. Like I knew she was nine years old. I just didn't realize she was nine years old. And I'm sorry for all the mean things I said. Like I think in social media, it's really difficult to, it's really easy to forget people's age and where they are and just to compare. But anyway, yeah, you were only a little girl when you were teaching her that. That's why. Anyway, I'm gonna clean the arena. I wanted to clean the field and get it complete. Like I want a really nice sunny warm day so I can clean the whole field. But I'm going to settle for the arena today and then we're going to go up and have lunch and then go to riding lessons. Stay tuned for the new field or whatever is happening. We're either making this winter paddock bigger for the horses or we're building a new field or I don't know what's happening. Sam's got it all planned out in his head but stay tuned. I'll reveal that hopefully tomorrow or at least by the weekend. Don't you know that you're beautiful?